Hey guys, hey, students, and I'm working with Hassan and Yaza to make a video about a uh, few tips on uh, the life in Jakarta. So let's get started. We're gonna show you one of the closest malls to Venus Square. It's called Central Park. So let's go. So now we're inside the Central Park Mall. As you can see all around this, it's a beautiful mall, yeah? So now we're gonna take you to the SIM card place where you can buy a SIM card and declare your phone. Hey okay, guys, so now we're on the third floor where we can see this, uh, this shop and where you can actually buy your SIM card and also declare your IMEI which is basically something that uh, allows you to use your phone in Indonesia because there's a law that actually is not allowing you to use it. So okay. yeah, you can enter the shop as you can see, right? And you can buy your SIM card and all that. Okay, so this is a real uh, extra, so basically it's an exchange place where you can come and exchange your dollars if you want to. Cool. So now we're in Transmart, it's a supermarket as I said before, so uh, you can buy whatever you want from here, you mostly eat, like, it's a bit more expensive than mini markets of course, but like if you want to go one time to buy anything you want, a lot of things at once, then it's a really good place because you can buy anything. Hey guys, I'd like to talk a bit about shopping apps in Indonesia. Now, shopping apps in Indonesia, I think, are one of the best things in Indonesia because they are so easy to use and they have such a variety of options to pick from. And it's so easy to purchase things because there's different methods of payment, such as cash on delivery. You can use your debit card. You could use your credit card. You could use a bank transfer from M-Mobile if you have that. And um, very a lot of options which make it super convenient whenever you need anything. Usually it comes within two to three days. Um, there is a lot of options for shipment, usually ranging from the same day to instant to to regular economic and so on and so forth. Um, so today I'll look at two of the most popular shopping apps, which are Tokopedia and Shopee. Hey guys, so this is Tokopedia. Now, Tokopedia is in Bahasa, however, using it is still very e easy and very simple once you learned a couple of words that mean purchasing and buying and location and such, so on and so forth. Um, I think the best part about Tokopedia is how easy it is to buy um, gift cards. So let's say I want to buy a PlayStation gift card. I can just write PlayStation and then it should vouch your money. And then you can, uh, Tokopedia has this variety of codes if you want to gift somebody or you want to buy a gift card because let's say you do not have a credit card. Then you can per easily purchase any gift card from here by just pressing like this, picking the one you'd like, and then payment options. Okay guys, welcome to Shopee. Now, this is the main front on Shopee. Now, Shopee has two things that I would say kind of differ it from Tokopedia. The first being multiple uh, language options, which includes English. So you can use English if you'd like 
um, to use the app. Unlike Tokopedia, where you're stuck with the local language, which is Bahasa, with um, Shopee, you can choose English and you can go with that. As well as they have something called Shopee Food, which is um, made precisely just for food. So it's basically like Grab or Uber Eats for all the foreigners, where you just order food to your house but through the same shopping app that you would for other things. So those are the two things about um, Shopee.